that is uh, great information. Mm -hmm. Uh, As we get ready to close up today's uh, conversation, can you provide the listeners with just a few questions that they should be asking during an interview? I know you have a lot more in your book, but just, you know, I guess give them a teaser on what things that they should be looking at when they're uh, looking for drive. I'll do this at a couple of levels. Um, at, at the beginning of the process, this is something that I think your, your listeners will get a lot of benefit from just in terms of reviewing someone's resume with them. Because, of course, we know the best predictor of future behavior is previous behavior. So all the questions we want to ask should ideally focus on the patterns of behavior the person has shown in the past that will allow us to predict how they're going to perform for us going forward. As you're reviewing the candidate's resume with them um, and going through each of their previous positions, I want you, for each of the positions they've held previously, to ask three questions. Number one, give me the basic job description. What did you do in that particular role? Number two, if you were on a sales team, where did you rank on that team? And number three, what got you to move on to the next position? And, of course, I'm sure if some of your listeners have asked that third question in the past, they've gotten those uh, kind of those guarded, uh, sometimes politically correct answers, you know, things like, oh, there were some misunderstandings with my salary or, oh, there were some disagreements with my supervisor, you know, those kind of guarded responses. One way to get around those that's very effective is to use what we call the magic wand question. Okay, if we had a magic wand and we could change three things about that job, she would have never wanted to leave, what would those three things be? And that's when you start to get a kernel of the truth. Oh, let's see, um, my assistant wouldn't have quit, I would have gotten paid more, I wouldn't have yelled at the sales VP. You know, they start to give you something you can dig in on, and now start to look for that pattern to recur in the past, because chances are if it has happened several times at previous positions, and that has led to the decision to move on, chances are at some level it's going to come to emerge for you. So on the resume side, that's one thing I would look for. Now, relative to the drive characteristics, a few of my favorite questions, starting with need for achievement. Tell me about the greatest goal you ever accomplished professionally really have them flesh that out for you. And you can reflect back to them. You have to be proud of that. How do you intend to top it? Again, the person who has that need for achievement has a plan to top it, and they're excited to tell you about it. Uh, When it comes to competitiveness, when was the last time you were competitive? Tell me about that. And oftentimes, of course, you get the person who will tell you about uh, just the maybe the day before at the gym. They were running around the track. Someone was about to lap them. They had to run that much faster to beat them. And I always, when the person gives me an example outside the world of work, of course, we always want to bring it back to the world of work. Okay, what about at work? When was the last time you were competitive? And find out what that situation really involved. Did they really satisfy those two criteria, wanting to be the best among their peers and win the customer over to their point of view, if you will. And then for optimism, tell me about a time when you remain persistent, even though everyone else around you gave up. Now tell me about another time, you know, getting those consistent examples of the person being resilient. That's the benefit of asking those types of questions and using a broader personality test. Is again, you get somebody who's, for example, uh, right out of school or maybe from another department, doesn't have sales experience. You can ask these broad questions and still get at those characteristics that are so important for someone to be successful as a hunter. Those are great questions. I've used some of your questions during interviews with sales representatives. Wonderful. I definitely find them useful. You get, you got to dig deep. You got to make sure you're getting the right person and you understand them. And like you said earlier in the conversation that a lot of people during the interview is probably the best they're going to be. Yes. They're going to be selling you on themselves, but can they keep that attitude in everyday life? And you've got to dig in and find out what really drives them, why they do the things they do. The quote from Gerhard, you know, when we started this conversation, you know, that it costs companies tens of thousands of dollars when they make a hiring mistake. And to take the extra time and effort to just make sure you're digging in and, you know, that's part of the benefit of taking those assessments ahead of time, too, is you know where you should be, what what areas or what directions you should take the conversation to say, is there an area of concern here? Yes, Exactly. Well, Chris, I definitely appreciate the time you gave us today. My pleasure. Uh, and, and all the tips and making sure we get people performing at a high level. So one last thing is where can people learn more about you and also purchase your book? Of course, it's www.salesdrive.info, salesdrive.info. There you can, uh, you can find the, the book there for purchase. Uh, you can also get a complimentary uh, drive test. Uh, as as it stands right now, at least for the foreseeable future, we have that offer available. So uh, we would encourage uh, new companies to take advantage of that. And again, all our resources are on there too. We've got uh, a blog that I think you'll find very useful uh, that we publish twice a week. And again, if there's anything else that I can do to be of service to any of your listeners, my number is right on that website, www.salesdrive.info. Please do not hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to be of service. I really enjoy sharing this information. 
you can definitely tell you're you're definitely passionate about it. Thanks. Well, Chris, thank you again. My pleasure, sir.